In this video, we will talk a little about the life evolution. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to like it and subscribe. Life Evolution, Episode 8. Title Permian Period. Permian Period, Time Range. Permian period, in geologic time, is the last period of the Paleozoic era. The Permian period began 298.9 million years ago, and ended 252.2 million years ago, extending from the close of the Carboniferous period to the outset of the Triassic period. What is the Permian period? The Permian period, is a geologic period, and a stratigraphic system, which spans 47 million years, from the end of the Carboniferous period, to the beginning of the Triassic period. Period Discovery The term, Permian, was introduced into geology, in the year 1841, by geologist Sir Roderick Murchison, President of the Geological Society of London, who identified typical strata in extensive Russian explorations undertaken with Edouard de Vernoy. Murchison asserted in 1841 that he named his Permian system after the ancient kingdom of Permia and not after the then small town of Perm, is usually assumed. The region now lies in the Perm Cry of Russia. The Permian Period, Rock Layers. Permian rocks, are, found, on all present-day, continents, however, some, have been displaced, at considerable distances, from their original latitudes, of deposition, this occurs by tectonic transport, occurring during, the, Mesozoic, and, Cenozoic eras. Some beds, dated from, the latest Permian ages, are renowned, for their fossils. The rock layers, found in the Russian platform, contains a remarkable vertebrate faunal assemblage, as well as fossil of insects and plants. The Permian Period Paleogeography The principal geographic features of the Permian world were a supercontinent named Pangaea and a huge ocean basin, the Panthalassa Ocean, with its branch, the Tethys Sea, a large indentation, in the tropical eastern side of Pangaea. During the early Permian, in the Sigerlian epoch, the northwestern Gondwana landmass collided and joined with the southern Laurasia landmass. The Laurasia is also known as Euramerica. The Permian Period Climates At the beginning of the Permian Period, the glaciation, from the end of Carboniferous Period, was widespread. The glaciation concentrates, mostly, in the South Pole. The Middle Permian climates, generally, were warmer, and moist. The sea levels, in the Permian rock layers, shows many temperature variations, mainly, in the North Pole. Climate warmed, throughout the Permian times, and, by the end of the period, hot, and dry conditions, were so extensive, that they caused a crisis, in Permian marine, and terrestrial life. Climates, of the late Permian, in the, Lopingian epoch, were typically hot, and, locally very dry. Deserts became widespread, in many tropical, and, subtropical areas, during this time. The Permian Period, Plant Life. Over the land, the, giant swamp forests, and, the, tundra regions, of the, Carboniferous Period, began to dry out. Plant life, consisted mainly of ferns, and, seed ferns, with new, gymnosperms plants, like conifers, and, ginkgos, coming into prominence. The Permian Period, Marine Life Fossils, of the shallower coastal waters, around the Pangaea continental shelf, indicate that, reefs, were large, and diverse ecosystems, with numerous, sponge, and coral species. The Permian, was a time of specialization, for marine fauna, with major diversifications, of, ammonoids, brachiopods, and, bryozoans, the, lobe-finned fishes, and the, spiny fishes, that gave rise to the amphibians, of the Carboniferous period, were being replaced, by true bony fish. 
sharks, and rays, continued in abundance. Permian period, flying animals. There were no flying vertebrates on the Permian fossil record. Though, the extinct lizard-like reptile, from the family, Weigeltosauridae, from the late Permian, had extendable wings, like modern gliding lizards, and, are the oldest known, gliding vertebrates. The Permian period, terrestrial life. The early Permian period, inherited, the giant insects, from the late Carboniferous. The giant insects disappeared, during the Permian period. But, smaller insects, they adapted, and evolved, together with the new plant life species. In the early Permian, it appeared that the, synapsids, were to be the dominant, group, of land animals. The group was highly diversified. The earliest, most primitive synapsids, were the, polycosaurs, which included, an apex predator, a genus known, as Dimetrodon. The therapsids, also known as mammal-like reptiles, evolved during the Middle Permian period, and went on, to live alongside, the first dinosaurs. Some creatures, that, represents, the therapsids, is the, gorgonopsids, a group of tetrapods. Gorgonopsids, were a successful group, which lived, during the Permian period. The Gorgonopsids, had huge powerful jaws, and large saber teeth, and were the top predator, of the late Permian. Gorgonopsids became extinct, during the Permian-Triassic extinction. Important, information. About 312 million years ago, during the Carboniferous geologic period, the Aminiot, ancestors emerged which later, were divided, into, anapsids, synapsids, and dipsids. The main difference, between these three, is the number of openings, in the skull. During the Permian period, the differentiation, between them, was consolidated, and, it became very clear. The line of synapsids, gave rise to mammals and consequently, to us, humans. The anapsid line, gave rise to animals, which, are now extinct. The dipsid line, gave rise to, modern reptiles. The exact position, where the endangered turtles, fits into this lineage, still remains a mystery. They also gave rise, to the, archosaurs. which in turn, gave rise to, modern crocodilians. The, archosaurs, also gave rise, to the incredible, flying beings. The, pterosaurs. They also gave rise, to the famous, and acclaimed, dinosaurs, revered, and adored, all over the world. And finally, dinosaurs, gave rise, to our old friends. The, modern birds. Now, take a look at, another way, to represent, the reptiles, family tree. And now, you can also, take a look at, another way, to represent, the dinosaurs family tree. The Permian-Triassic, extinction event. The end Permian, mass extinction, which occurred, about 252 million years ago, was the most severe, biotic crisis, in the, Phanerozoic Eon, eliminating, more than 90%, of marine, and 75%, of terrestrial species. The most accepted theory, is the, Siberian traps, volcanic eruptions. Some, of the potential kill mechanisms, triggered by emplacement, of the Siberian traps magmas, includes Global warming, ultraviolet, radiation exposure, hypercapnia, ocean acidification, ocean anoxia, and, toxic metal release. These consequences, must be enough, to cause the disaster. But, alongside with this theory, there are others. The Permian period, is undoubtedly, a very important piece, in the history, of the evolution of life, and of our planet. Ice age. Giant insects. Humid tropical forests. Which, 
gave way to huge coniferous forests, drastic climate changes, abundant marine and terrestrial life, relentless predators at the top of the food chain, in the seas and on land. Differentiation of species, very important for the puzzle of evolution. And, to close with a golden key, the biggest mass extinction in the history of the planet. Entitled to volcanic activities, changes in the composition of the atmosphere, water, and the marine environment, the Permian period, is the perfect setting for any science fiction masterpiece. If you are watching the video until now, don't forget to like it and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next video. Goodbye.